Hey everybody, Mike here with everything about concrete.com. Now this video is going to be about when to start the finishing process. I've had a lot of you guys ask me about, you know, how long do you wait after you pour the concrete? Do you start finishing? Do you start magging? Do you start edging? Stuff like that. So I had some examples of some jobs I did where I talked just about that. So I wanted to share that with you guys to hopefully help you better understand about when to start finishing because that makes a big difference you know, with how the project comes out looking. So let's say you're pouring, uh, you know, a walkway like this or a sidewalk or a patio or a driveway. I mean, pretty much anything. The timing when you start finishing is always going to be a little different depending on, a f you know, quite a few things, depending on number one, how hot it is outside, the temperature. It's going to depend on how wet or how dry you pour the concrete. Um, the wetter you pour the concrete, the longer it's going to be after you get it done pouring before you start finishing. It's going to depend on things like what's under the concrete. Is it dry dirt? Is it dry sand? Is it crushed rock? Um, are you pouring on top of plastic? I mean, plastic might delay when you start finishing concrete. So the key is to know, you know, when to check it. You got to keep checking it after you get done pouring it. So like I said, it's a little different every day. I'm going to talk to you in a minute right here about how to check it, when to check it, and what to look for. So hopefully it'll give you a little bit better idea. Um, and this is video is going to cover how to start the finishing process when you're doing edging, when you're mag floating, and like when you're doing a broom finish, some simple basic stuffs like that. So stay tuned for that and I hope you like the video. Hey guys, so when you're when you're using an edger to edge edge concrete, first thing you got to do is you got to make sure you get on it at the right time. And how you figure that out is you just got to keep touching the concrete. When I when I can touch it and I can push in a good quarter of an inch, that's about ready to start edging. So you got to cut this edging right here. I'm going to show you how I do that. First thing I do is, do is I just run it along the board. Okay, I'm using about a three eighths. 3 8 curved edger. I like these brass ones. You run it along the board like this and you get that edge cut and then you go back over that part nice and nice and easy like that. And you just keep going. If you get on the concrete at the right time, this is really easy. If you wait till it's a little harder, then you're going to have to work really hard to cut that edge in. Now, if you got a spot, if you got a spot you need to fill in that's kind of rough, all you got to do is you scrape up a little of the cream like that. You got that cream right there. You take that cream and you just put it in that rough spot just like that, and it fills it right in. And then don't worry about that. You're gonna mag over that after. When you do a corner like this. Okay, you just go one way, cut it the other way, okay, you got a little bit of build up there in the corner, get rid of that, you have to go over it a couple times like that, there's your corner. Front 
All right, guys, so when we mag float concrete, number one, we got to get it on at the right time. And again, if you're going to check it, you know, you got to get right down here and check it with your fingers to see how soft it is. This little patio is going to have a, it's going to be stamped, so we got to get it magged out, get it all nice and smooth, fill in all the rock holes. So I'm, I'm, be, I'm pressing in about a quarter to three-eighths of an inch. There's no bleed water. That means this thing's about ready to mag, so I'm going to mag it out. I've got a, what's called like a, a Darby here. This is a little bit bigger than a regular mag float, but this works good when it's kind of soft. So when you're magging, okay, when you go one way, you got to tip. You got to tip the mag up the way you're going. When you go the other way, you got to tip it back. And you're just looking. You're looking to get it to change and fill in all these little, these little air holes and these little rock holes here, and bring up more cream. You're just going back and forth, putting a little pressure down on the mag. Once you get it smooth like that with everything filled in, that's part done, then you move on. See those rock holes right there? You get a close up of that. And then watch me mag them. When you mag right over them, they fill right in. See how we have see how we have a little rough spot right here on the edge now the way we fill that in with a mag is we just take the mag and we scrape up a little bit of cream on top we take that cream and we just fill that right in with that go over that rough spot and it's gone That's it guys, that's how you mag float concrete.